everyone, welcome back to the Bat Prototype, and I am starting a new series where I'll be covering mods. These will be lengthy videos, as you will see, um, but I figured I would cover Advanced Genetics mod. Uh, you can find this on like Attack of the Bee Team and a variety of um, Technic games. It's actually really fun. In The whole idea of it is you... Uh, get cells from mobs, uh, passive or aggressive, and you then put these cells through a bunch of gene manipulating machines, and eventually you can um, get these cells that have unique attributes like, um, oh, I don't know, uh, like uh, milk. <laughs> like you can milk yourself and shoot these genes into yourself or create monsters or animals with these attributes as well like a sheep that you can milk <laughs> it's a little interesting so let's get started and I've covered everything I can um, other than the specific cells that you can get from different uh, mobs that would take a long time, uh, but pretty much every mob has at least one unique attribute you can get from them, uh, and there are lists all over the internet that tell you what those are. So the first thing we're going to cover is the scraper, <laughs> this lovely thing, and I'll show you how that works in a minute, but it's really easy to make. You need one iron and two, two stone sticks, and how you use it is you find a mob, and you right click on it no. and it does do damage no. but you see what dropped are uh, no. skin skin scales <laughs> sorry it's really early in the morning so my uh, speech is a little wonky um, but you can you can basically see that this is from a cow, it labels mm. it, and it'll label it from other uh, creatures as well. And the next thing we want is mm. <laughs> magnifier, and this will be part of building some of the machines. Uh, and the magnifier is very easy as well. All you need mm. is a stone stick and a piece of glass, and it creates that. <laughs> now, <laughs> you'll see I have some setups um, through these, uh, so you can kind of see how they work. But the first machine is the DNA analyzer, and the DNA amp is where you put the skin cells. And um, below, below you need some type of um, either a combustion generator where you put coal or whatever in. And to the left, you see where it loads up the energy that needs to be burned to run these machines and they all need that um, n but you can use different mods to use those but you take the scales you put them in here and they will process and create a cell and again it, like the say uh, in its tag sorry about that um, this says call it the cow <laughs> so you get a cell from that and how you make that is pretty easy. You're gonna need a lot of iron for most of these. Uh, you surround it by iron and you put the magnifier in the middle and that's what you use that for. Now this lovely th little book is what's gonna be in most of the first section of these but it's a basic DNA dictionary and how you make that is you get four cells from any animal uh, in a book and that's created and you need these to make more of these machines. And this is the DNA extractor where you put the cell in and it processes to create a helix. And this is an encrypted helix. You don't know what it'll create. And how you make this is, again, a lot of iron. In a U shape, you need a hopper and a basic dictionary. Now, the decryptor, <laughs> DNA decryptor, uh, it's basically what it says. You put the helix in here, it processes through, and it tells you um, 
infinite milk or basic gene. These are the two things that can come from this particular cell. Some only come with one option, like a basic gene, or the infinite milk, or both, and you have to choose. And how you make this is, again, pretty easy. Iron, that basic DNA, and paper. Now, this one is the DNA splitter. And as you can see, I put one in there where it shows those two options. Now, if, obviously you would have to remove it, but the one I did before, I created a basic gene. By the way, these are organic drops and these can be used as um, uh, fuel or something a little bit lighter in another um, machine. So how you make this is again, bunch of iron, diamond in the middle, and another basic DNA dictionary. And that the next one is an optional one, but I find is very easy because you'll see in the next one why this might be useful. Um, as you can see, this says infinite milk, and if you already have one that you're working on, you may not need another cell, full cell, that is completed of infinite milk. So what you do, you put in the auto um, auto splitter and it'll automatically create a um, basic gene and these are extremely useful. And how you make this is you create a regular splitter again and a bunch of redstone on the top, bunch of redstone at the bottom, and two iron on each side. Now to this one is the DNA breeder. I apologize, my throat's starting to go. Uh, the breeder uh, is when you put a, it, on this one it says um, completed, but you would get a infinite milk, or what is it, yeah, infinite milk, um, and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't say completed. You'd put it in that spot and you put a bunch of basic genes, <laughs> uh, in and eventually five or six I think will create a completed uh, gene and how you make that is this one's a little bit different is a basic dictionary here iron in the middle iron on each corner and wheat on each side now this is where we get a little bit more interesting so this is a syringe and you just need a glass bottle, three iron, and an arrow basically as the plunger. And what you can do with that is, I have one in hand, you right click and it draws your blood. Ta-da! And what you would do with that, I'll put that over here now, is you'd put it in here in the centrifuge and it would then centrifuge the field, <laughs> clean out the blood or whatever it wants to do, um, and centrifuge that syringe filled with blood or a monster's blood. And how you create that is syringe here, 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 and a basic dictionary here with the four iron in each corner. And the next one would be the DNA um, combiner and you would take your f a filled syringe here and you'd put the actually it's the centrifuge I believe um, but that filled up um, and then you'd put the completed gene here and it would fill that up with that gene and how uh, so you can shoot yourself up with that <laughs> and you could stop at that point but we're not going to. Um, but how you create that is four iron on e each corner, a cell on each side, a dictionary at the top, a syringe in the middle, and then another iron below that. And here is a microscope. So I'll take the syringe filled with the blood back again. And what I'll show you, you right click, oh, well, I think that actually has to be the um, centrifuged one. And basically, it would show you um, 
what cells are floating around in your body. And if you don't have any of the add, added cells, it'll just be blank. So how you make that is a bunch of iron from the side and the bottom, a stone stick at the very top, a piece of glass in the upper right corner, and a block of iron in the middle right. And this is not necessary for doing your extras. All right, so the next one is the advanced uh, DNA dictionary we'll you will use in some more uh, of these machines. And you'll need some more cells. Obviously, you're going to have to get a lot of um, scales to process uh, to make some of these. Um, and a basic DNA and create that. And this one is the um, I'm, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. Um, the DNA insulator. Uh, and what you would do is take a process cell and create, um, for this one, it would create an insulated cell, but you would also can do this with the helixes to create an insulated helix. And I'll show you what that'll be used for next. But how you make this is iron in each corner, advanced dictionary in the top, two pistons on each side and lava in the bottom. Now for this next one is the DNA cloner. You would be putting your uh, syringe filled that's been centrifuged, it doesn't have to have anything processed in it. You put an insulated helix and I'll show you, put another insulated cell in here and it drops that. <laughs> so whatever you took the insulated uh, helix from, or the blood from, uh, it varies um, depending on your mod, uh, will create, <laughs> run away, um, a creature, and this obviously is a cow since that's what I took it from, and how you make this is iron on each corner, the bottom middle, an insulated cell in the middle, uh, an advanced dictionary at the top, and a syringe on the right and an insulated helix on the left. So that one's a little bit more complicated than the other ones. And what we have here are extras that you don't necessarily need again, but DNA remover is pretty self-explanatory. Um, <laughs> uh, this one, uh, you would need a syringe that's filled and an anti-gene, <laughs> if you create one. Um, and it will make it so you can remove that specific gene from uh, yourself or a person. And the iron, or another another mob, uh, an iron on each corner, basic dictionary at the top, cell in the middle, and syringes on each side is how you create that. And showing you how to make the um, this lovely one, you would put a non-anti gene uh, here, and then remember how I told you those organic drops, you put them here, and then that would create the anti gene. Uh, it can be, I guess, useful, but I don't know. Uh, not too many people tend to use these unless they're really interested in creating funky monsters. Um, and how you create this is iron in each corner, cells across the middle, a basic DNA dictionary at the top, and iron in the bottom middle. And one of the fun ones, <laughs> so you don't have to go chasing around, um, is the auto scraper. And as you can see, it's empty here. A cow. <laughs> but it is what it says it is. If and well, that one's moving around, so I can't show you, but I'll show you over there. Um, but how you build this one is iron across the top, iron across the bottom, hopper in the middle, a scraper on the right, and a chest on the left. And how this one works, let's see, I need some coal here. No. No. Um, 
of these just aren't working today. <laughs> no. Hmm. Oh. Oh. No. That's why. No. That was filled. So yeah, it it no. is limited. No. So, but no. basically, no. it just does that for you. <laughs> Now to some ads that are pretty interesting. This is the Death Ender Chest. It's basically an Ender Chest, but what's interesting about it is if you have this cell in your body, the uh, save your inventory, it will go to this death chest if you die out in the world. And how you make this, it's very costly, is obsidian in each corner, ender pearls in the top and bottom middle, gold on each side, and an ender chest in the middle. So that is extremely useful if you're, say, on a server that you can't keep your inventory, or if you're playing fairly on a single player. Now, this one is the um, over overclocker. Mm -hmm and very easy to make. Four redstone and a clock in the middle. And what you would put this in is any of the machines if you wanted to speed up their process. Because it can be kind of slow if you're trying to work on a bunch of stuff. And uh, this one is the auto output upgrade. And what this does is you can just put all these machines right next to each other. Which um, makes it so much easier instead of like using a bunch of hoppers and weird setups. Um, which I didn't know about until recently, <laughs> and it saves a lot of space, um, so it just moves the cell to the next thing. Um, and you just need redstone, two iron, and a piston. Very easy to make. Move. Now this fun little... <laughs> Get out of my way! <laughs> uh, thing is a genetic bow. And... Basically, if you get an infinity cell, which you get off skeletons, uh, and obviously you um, have that in your system, in your body, you can use this bow uh, without arrows, ever. <laughs> and all you need is um, some cells and some stone sticks to create that, so it's really cheap to make. And this one, the final thing, is antidote. And this will remove any poison uh, from your system and replace it with some good jujus, basically. So you need a filled syringe and milk, and that creates the antidote. So that is it for this mod tutorial. That's a lot to go over. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed. If you have any questions, that pretty much covers every object other than actual cells, which, again, that's a little bit more fun to mess with, because some creatures have more than one. Um, basic comes with all of them, um, and some have a longer time to get one a scale to drop its special cell, but it's kind of fun to go through and try to get these cells from these creatures. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.